All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula and we have to find which of the following conclusions is incorrect about this formula. Now, an easy step to do to restructure this formula a little bit and make it easier for us to see, we can add the D to both sides. And now we have C plus D equals 10. Okay, now let's start off with option A. If C is greater than 10, D is negative. This statement is correct because if C is greater than 10, the only way that this whole formula can be equal to 10 is if D is negative, if it is smaller than, um, ne than zero. Um, and so A is correct. So that cannot be our answer. Now let's move on to option B. All right, if D is greater than negative 10, C is positive. Now, if D is greater than negative 10, that means that it can also be equal to 10 or greater. And that means that C has to be negative in this case if the D is greater than 10. Therefore, B is incorrect, and that will actually be our correct answer. Let's move on to C and D to see why they are correct. Okay, if C is less than negative 10, D is positive. Well, the turning point is at 10 or at negative 10. So if C is less than negative 10, less than negative 10, D has to be positive, and that is correct, because C plus D has to equal 10. And so C is also correct. If D is greater than 10, let's erase this. If D is greater than 10, then C has to be negative which is also correct because if D is greater than 10, C will give the, the weight down and therefore will be able to equal 10. If C was also positive, it will C plus D would just be greater than 10, which would be incorrect. So D is also correct and therefore will not be our right answer because we are looking for the wrong statements. And so B is the only statement that is incorrect and therefore will be our answer.